What up, what up, what up, what up? You know who it is. You know who I be. It ain't no secret. It's Mr. Lines coming to you live and direct on this. What's today? Thinking Thursday. February 11th. 2020. Mas uno! C, C, C! Yes, yes, yes! Let's say it with our chest. We are in here like the atmosphere. So you know what we gonna do, dawg. We gonna G. A, T, A, and get after these academics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Not only is it a thinking Thursday, February 11th, but today marks day number 103 of our common school year. Yes, yes, yes. What are we doing? Chug, chug, chugging along. But that being said and done, our weather right now feels like 44 degrees outside. The high is going to be 51, and the low is 31 degrees today. All right, tonight it will be, um, be rainy tonight, and the low will be, once again, around freezing. Just two degrees above that at 34 degrees, all right? So, let's get it going. What's our, hmm, what's, it, what's up next? What's our quote for the day? Now, this quote comes today from one of our, you know, I don't know, it's seen about four or five quotes from Jim Rohn. But Jim says, formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. What I tell you every day, education is a do it yourself. Educate yourself. You know what I'm saying? If something you don't know, go find out. All right, there it is, there it is. You know how we do here at Carter Community Charter School. I matter, you matter, we matter. College prep begins in kindergarten. Hey, we prepare our children for college and other productive lifelong learning experiences beginning in kindergarten. That's what we do, Craig. That's what we do better than what? Everybody in the whole wide world. Durham, North Carolina, the world. North Carolina, North Carolina, Durham, the world. United States. Hey, all of them, all of them. Put them in the, put them in the pot. We better than all of them. That's what we do. All right, what's up? School news, school news, school news. All right, first, you know what I'm saying? I like kicking off this February month with some black history fact. All right, black history fact for the day is the first woman representative. Ooh. All right, she was Shirley Chisholm. She was the first African-American woman elected to the House of Representatives. She was elected in 1968 and represented the state of New York. All right. She broke ground again four years later in 1972. What did you think she did? In 72, she was the first majority party African-American candidate and the first female candidate for president of the United States. If you didn't know, now you know. All right. That's our, our black history fact of the day. Next up, school news. This coming Monday, President's Day. This day right after... Uh, Valentine's Day, so you give people an extra day, you know what I'm saying, to love when they love them. But we call it President's Day. That's like that. Wednesday, January 24th, is what? ELA night. Yes, come on through. We got something for all the school from elementary, intermediate, and middle school. We're going to come out and enjoy that. All right, so bring yourself, your family, your siblings, and let's get some ELA in there. Outside that, no more school news, no birthdays, no reports too good. So let's get it. Classroom updates. All right. First up, Mr. Everett Johnson. Haven't seen nothing from Mr. Gibbs all week. Mr. Gibbs, if you're out there, come on, man, get on. All right, Mr. Johnson says, all month long, all month long. All right, y'all be doing character ed skills, and y'all be studying some known and some unknown Afro-Americans that had some great contributions to history. All right, there it is. All right, next up, I got kindergarten. Mrs. Who? Mrs. Beatty. All right, Mrs. Beatty, kindergarten in ELA. Y'all will listen and learn to Ruby Bridges by Robert Coles and discuss the main topic and key details and your feelings about the story. I'm in my feelings, baby. I'm in my feelings. All right, and in math, we will continue with addition and using addition Google Slides for addition practice. Ooh, addition, addition, adding, 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 adding. All right, next up, I got who? First grade, Mrs. Mrs. Williams first. All right, Mrs. Williams Thursday, y'all doing order three or fewer sets from least to greatest and greatest to least. Ooh, what's the biggest? What's the smallest? Yeah, what's the smallest? What's the biggest? That's what we're doing. Next up, first grade, Miss Colson. It's Thursday. We continue practicing how to find details in nonfiction book with what makes a day and night. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, there it is. All right, next up, I got who? Second grade, Mrs. McGuire. Mrs. McGuire said this Thursday, y'all got a quiz on adding three digit numbers and using place value strategies. So teach them up, teach them up, and quiz them up. All right, next up, you know who I got, Mr. Carrington. All right, Mr. Karen said this Thursday, y'all can compare and contrast in Ruby Bridges book by different authors, nouns, practice as well. There it is, there it is. Next up, I got who? Third grade, Mrs. Jones. She said this Wednesday through Friday, y'all be using main idea, central message strategies to read passages and answer questions. Now, y'all also be using context clues and sentences to help us understand multiple meaning words. All right, who else? Next up, third grade, Mrs. Who? Mrs. Green. All right, Mrs. Green said, this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, y'all still working on two-step word problems. All right, next up, I got 
fourth grade. First up, Miss Bell. All right, this Thursday, y'all doing y'all makeup testing. All right, and y'all review long division with and without reminders. Hey, that's when you get into that good work right there. Next up, I got who? Mrs. Archer. She said, this Thursday, y'all gonna learn about Joseph S. Carter Jr. and read and analyze one of his poems. Yep, that's what's happening. Fifth grade, next. Fifth grade, you know what we're doing. Today, we're taking our benchmark school net assessment. So everybody, I had a few of you try to how to log in a benchmark school net yesterday, but today we logging into our school net. So hopefully everybody has their school net information and we'll make this real easy. All right, next up, I have who? Middle school. Hi, hi. Middle school, what's going on? Middle school, six, seven, eight. That's Blake, Bats, Ships, and Michael. All right, sixth grade math. And the day you all, all of you doing midterms. So this Thursday and Friday doing class, Y'all doing y'all midterms this week. But, all right, in math, y'all working on rational numbers and integers. In science, y'all working on earth layers. In ELA, y'all working on the first day of school with elements and um, sentence patterns and social studies. Y'all taking all of those post-test exams on ocean continents, uh, map skills, religion descriptions, and y'all can continue examining religions. All right, seventh grade. We got math, we on rational numbers and integers. In science, y'all preparing for y'all all things weather final, y'all final in all things weather. In ELA, you are doing a poem to crossover, and y'all working on figurative language and social studies. Y'all got those assessments on ocean and continents and geographer tools, and y'all also is continuing to spawn the Renaissance period. In eighth grade, uh, math, y'all working on linear functions and models, and then uh, science, y'all working on uh, hydrosphere and reviewing for y'all tests. In the ELA, you working on the drum board of silo and elements of uh, sentence fragments. And in social studies, the students would examine the establishment of Jamestown and what it is, uh, how it you know, equates to North Carolina development. And then you got some assessments with geography tools, ocean and continents assessments. And Wednesday, you all had a study guide on English colony that was due. So you know who I am, you know how I be, I'm Mr. Lines. I want everybody to take your day in academics with brilliance, tenacity, and being your will towards greatness. One falcon, one family, one flight, and I'm gone. Real.